In my manicure tutorial, I will teach you how to make your hands beautiful and soft using ingredients that you have in your kitchen. I'm also going to apply gel nails fantasy and I'm choosing the style French because of its natural look. You're not only going to save money, but your nails will not get damaged as it gets damaged during gel nail. Hello everyone. I hope you had a wonderful day today. Um, I thought that because today is Friday, we could do something to take care of ourselves. I know that with quarantine, we cannot lose track of what day is today, but um, today I thought, okay, I really need to make time to fix my nails because I've been reading to the kids and sometimes I had to use my finger and my fingers had glue and uh, things from my previous nails. And I wanted to show you how to put these acrylic nails. For those that love um, gel nails, it's been a while that I don't go to the salon to get my gel nails and I get these ones done instead. It says here that last 10 days, 7 to 10 days, it really lasts me about two weeks and sometimes even three. And if one nail comes out, I, I, put, I put another one. So I will show you other designs. Now to deep clean our hands and to make them soft, we're gonna use lemon loaded with vitamin C. It also has antioxidants and neutralized free radicals. The honey, I call it AAA because it has is an antioxidant, antiseptic, and antibacterial. It would also keep our hands hydrated. And sugar, if you have brown sugar, it's better. Um, but we're gonna use this as a scrubber and make sure you use this gently. So here I have some sugar. This is the fine grain. You can put whatever, you don't need to measure. When I just do it for my hands, I just put it in my hand, a little bit of, of sugar, a little bit of honey, and I, I usually buy quality honey because I use this a lot for my face, for my hands. Uh, honey is really good for, uh, for your skin. And I use um, just a few drops of lemon. Um, when you do this, you don't wanna do it in the sunlight. Right now I'm outside, I'm, I'm kind of in the shade. And this is just gonna be quick and I'm gonna wash it. But if you do it in your face, um, lemon could make your skin dark. So I'm not doing it in my face, I'm doing it in my hands. You could also use this to exfoliate your body. Um, I don't use this anymore to scrub um, my face much because I hear that when you have this exfoliate, it might kind of be a little rough for your skin. So I have um, um, products for my face, but this is wonderful. Now to continue making our paste, we're gonna add some lemon and then honey. And I know this recipe since I was a teenager. I used to do that in my teenager years and then sometimes I buy other scrubbers that are expensive and they're okay at the beginning, but if you keep them for a while, then they retain my skin. So you put here in the palm of your hand and you rub around. Make sure you go gentle around your hands because you are cleaning and exfoliating. And like I say, sometimes um, those scrubbers that you buy, uh, they have oils and, and then if you leave that for a few months, then they start smelling bad. And many of them irritate my skin and this Thanks. does it. If you want to do a little in your face, but don't scrub it so hard because especially if you are like my age, I'm, I'm going to be 45 this June um, we want to take care of our our face so so you don't want to damage the layers of your skin so if you want to do it you want to do it very soft what I do is I just have very little sugar right now I will put honey honey with just the little sugar I have honey and then I go around and actually tonight I'm gonna make a mask so uh, I'll try to do two videos today the other one is uh, to make a mask I kind of on Saturdays or Friday nights I like to wear masks and I do that actually two, three times a week. Um, so I'll, I'll give you those tips, but that's gonna be in another video. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. They're gonna be super soft. My hands. Okay, I went to wash my hands and they're super, super, super soft. You love this. You could do this twice, three times a week and your skin will look uh, very soft. 
you're gonna have the softest hands. And also if you put a little bit of yogurt, if you have brown spots, it could take out the brown spots, um, brown spots as well. So okay, so now you have a beautiful hands. And you know, I, I haven't been going to hair manicure for over maybe a year or a little bit more. So I'm having some friends because um, they usually tell me how beautiful my nails look. And they think I go get out at the salon, which I don't. I save money on that because uh, there is, I usually invest a, a, a money in vitamins and, and things for my skin. So in things that I could do it myself, I try to do that myself. And something about nails I don't wanna really spend because every time I wanna go to the salon maybe to spend $25 usually you come out spending 40 to $50 but I mean once in a while that's good and it's a treat you know you get a massage but this is something to do very quick like you see here it comes all sizes and inside has everything that you need it has a stick it has the more nails and the package comes with 28 nails I still have one that I put last time I'm gonna take that off right now but because of the quarantine we haven't been going to the store so I had leftovers from other nails and that's why my nails the other days were like with different designs which it still looks nice it still looks nice if you if you could combine them but when it's French nail I kind of just like to have French nail so now to begin the process of putting our nails first we had to arrange them in order as you can see, there's so many nails, it comes 28. You have to match them to your nail size. You may find these nails in many stores like Walmart, Target. And if you're not going out to the stores, you could buy them in Amazon's. Price range from four, five dollars to ten dollars, depending of um, of your design of the design. Now you gotta look for the numbers. Each uh, nail has a number. Now this one match my finger and I look at the number, it's number 11, if you can see, it has a little number right there. The bigger the number it is, the smaller the nail is. So I got the perfect for my finger, so I'm going to get the same size for my other hand. And then I'm going to go for the next one, so I got it, 11, 11. Now the next one, I think I'm size 8 for my uh, ring finger. So there it is, 8. Yeah, it's a perfect match. So it's good. I made a mistake and I bought, and I realized that I bought short nails and I should have bought long nails because my nails are long. I like them long, I prefer them long. And my fingers are long too. So but I'm just gonna work with what I have. What I like the most about these nails, like as you can see, see my nails are very thick and they don't get that discolor. It's because they don't get as damaged as when you use gel nails. When I was using gel nails like two, three years ago, they look beautiful and they last long, but then you get addicted to it in a way that when you don't have them, the nails look ugly. My nails were getting weaker. They were getting, getting thin, right? Because I was going there often that my fingers um, kind of felt that you be like a tingling and I didn't like that sensation. So if I wanted to just have my natural nails, it took time for them to recover and you know they lose color so now with this one that doesn't happen i just get a nail filer whenever i don't want to have the, the nails i rub around just to take out like if there is any glue left and that's it and my nails are still strong they don't lose color because even when you um, just use nail polish different color when you take away the nail polish the nails get a little yellow, it kind of stain. So I've been using this for two years already and this is way better. Here is a glue that also you could purchase. This one has a brush so it to help you spread evenly the glue. But I'm just gonna use the one that comes in the kit. 
to begin applying our nails while we want to have them all arranged and then you could apply any lotion or cream thick one in preference to your cuticles so you could push them this is a very important step if you want your nails to last longer uh, sometimes I'm in a rush and I skip this step so my nails still look beautiful but after a few days four or five days then you could see the little gap so if you take your time and pushing them and also push your nails then see you won't see the gap like you see in here and there's some um, that gap is the one you don't want to see after a few days okay so here now in order to apply you want to spread the glue evenly this is like crazy glue so you don't want to put too much because when you press the nail and if you put too much it will overflow so you put little by little make sure you spread all around now you get the nail and then you press maybe hold it for like 10 seconds i'm only holding in the tip the first couple of times because i put too much it sticks together and like it's like crazy glue my fingers got stuck to it so now i'm more careful but it might happen to you so it's okay that happens and then when you're done you just it dries really fast so you just take out this tip and then you get the nail filer and then you could even up to take that little mark i'll do that at the end to all of them so then you repeat the process make sure you spread the glue evenly um, Many times what I do is I just press with my nails instead of my finger, that way my finger won't get stuck and you want to push it closer to the border. This is starting to look beautiful and more elegant. Now you repeat. I just only have extra boxes so whenever one is missing I can just replace them. And then I do my time. See, it didn't take me long. Friday night. Guess we can go nowhere, but maybe you could do something fun at home. Maybe I could do something fun with my family, play games, if my kids want it. Lately, we just watch a movie together. And then they go to their rooms. Because I have teenagers. Now, here, if you see, it, it came out like beautiful. And this was the old one. This is the new one. It looks nice and beautiful. And if you have weak nails and they're thin, I like these ones because then, then, then your nails get um, feel very thick. Okay, so I took that on. Now my fingers look. I I did it. I choose the short nail style, and that's why this one is longer. So I'm gonna have to cut it or trim it. So I'm just gonna trim. And I gotta trim all of them because in here, if you see here, this little thing that when we take it off, you could see there is something coming out. So you wanna trim. And then I'm done with one hand. I trim it really fast. So see, it doesn't take you long. Sometimes I even doing this in my car, I do it really fast because honestly, um, I'm very used to multitasking Sometimes I don't have time for for myself, but I try to, you know, just these little things make you look good and make you feel good. And when you you look good, you feel good about yourself too. So, okay, I'm gonna do my other hand. Kind of bad I got, I choose the short nails because my nails are longer. Now I have to do a lot of trimming here. Otherwise, we look ugly. And I have long fingers, so and my nails are naturally long. So, but I know everybody has different hands. And if your hands have short nails, then you could pick up the short nails. I pick up the long ones because naturally, even if my if this nail is is short, see my finger is kind of long. The nail is long, even if I have short nail. So I'm gonna have to cut a little more than what I just do. And now if you have old ones, 
Oh, I want to put the lid before this one dries out. If you have all nails, all you do is you gotta use this flat thing, this flat surface. Let me take this off. You use this flat and then you just put it in the bottom and then you just go around and then it's gonna come out. This one I glue very well and I did it recently. Okay, see? So that's how my nail looked a little ugly when I when I was reading stories because this one came out and I was pointing at the books and I didn't like how it looked, but what can I do? At that time I couldn't just go fast and do something. So I'm just taking out the, the glue that was before. And see, all the yellow part came out and it looks nice and clean. It still looks beautiful. And my nail is still strong. Now I'm gonna put a pretty one. And see how your, your hand change makes it look beautiful. It does look like gel nails. Um, at times I put with designs and, and we get a lot of compliments. I remember last winter I was putting many other designs and and I, I do clean up a lot. I do wash dishes. So what I do, I wear gloves when I wash dishes. They do come out and I just put them back. But I wanna show you how they look. They look pretty. But the style is short, so it's not as pretty as I would've want to because um, it doesn't match it. So if you don't like, um, if you want it more pointy, you can just shape it more pointy. Now my nails look short, so this hand was perfect. So in this one, in one that I have long, I'm gonna have to get a nail clipper because otherwise it will take me longer to do this. So I'm gonna go get a nail clipper and I'll be back. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you do, subscribe. Don't forget to put like and subscribe so we can make more videos. And also don't forget and um, drink lots of water. So in your comments you could tell me what are you gonna do tonight or what things do you do to treat yourself and take care of yourself. Uh, just these little things of having time for yourself and making yourself pretty doesn't take you long because we all deserve that and we all worth it. Bye-bye.